Hi everybody, Grit21, back with a tutorial video. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing off how to do some track motion stuff slash layering in Vegas Pro 16. Um, this video is somewhat inspired by the tutorial videos that I believe it was Magix had originally done about this. Let me check this. Sorry, the Vegas Pro YouTube channel had done explaining how to do track motion and having text follow an object. Um, it was a really well done video, honestly, for the first two videos that they did about the, I think you pronounce it the Biezo. B I don't know how you say it. Basically, the track motion features that are in Vegas Pro 16. But there were some things that I think they kind of missed in the video initially, especially in, especially in the first two videos that I had to do with a lot of trial and error. And in this particular one, what we're going to be doing is following an object um, in one video and then allow that same video to pass through what we've already tracked. So let me go ahead and transition over to the uh, screen. Okay, um, sorry, let me go ahead and change my change things in my default view. I'm so sorry, I have a different layout than most people do for the software. Okay, cool, so this is kind of easier. All right, cool. So what we got is um, a series of text. Now this is something that I actually, this is a custom, uh, sort of loading transition video that I actually grabbed from the, I think it's Remington Digital YouTube channel. Um, and if you wanna go check that out, go, definitely go check them out because they've got a ton of really cool videos that are Vegas Pro friendly. Um, and I've used several of their videos of on my stream and stuff. But what you're looking at the moment is um, text that has been tracked to a point of light and I am basically fading in and fading out the uh, text. It kind of adds some like fun, like little, you know, future loading sort of a feel to it, stuff like that. I realized I could have actually put like one more uh, text um, in the video. And so because I hadn't done that, I thought I would actually show you how I did what I did and take you through, let me show all the options here, take you through the steps that I took to not only allow for the single point of lights to get through, but also for um, this the overall, this is actually the same video after all the tracking has been done. And we're basically gonna um, allow then this final part here to be seen. So now, this is honestly tricky if you're new to this, so we're gonna kind of take our time with this. So this will be a bit of a slow video. Please have patience um, as I try to carefully explain how this works. So what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna go ahead and move this video off, all right? Um, we're actually gonna make a copy of this video. So we're gonna start by copying this, okay? And what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna apply the, I think I'm gonna apply right at the summer. I'm gonna track this point of light, all right? So in the original video that they did, they said that you need the, um, the, the I'm just gonna call it the, the track motion mask, uh, just for the sake of the fact that I can't even really pronounce the plug's name properly. But we're gonna go ahead and just put this on here, okay? Now, what happens is, there is a box, this box here, that is the track part of the box, all right? Now, this particular video, because of the speed that it's at, um, it's kind of fast and it's already, well, it actually was originally a slow video. I sped it up, so it's kind of faster than normal. Um, so we may have to do some manual tracking, which is fine. Um, so what we're gonna do is, uh, what you see is the the mask feature itself. Hold on, let me quick close my Steam. So sorry about that. Should I close my Steam before all this? Lulz, gamer for life. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna head and 
Uh, this is the box that we're going to be working with. You can make it any shape you want. Rectangle, diamond, curve. I think curve is actually for more precise tracking of a particular shape. Um, there is a video from Vegas Pro's YouTube channel that talks about how to use the curve option, but we're not going to be using that for today's video. We're going to be doing something very, very basic and simple. So what I'm going to do is uh, there's these handles here. And I'm going to make these handles about this size, all right? We're going to add the precision to high. We're going to change the keyframe interval to 1 so that it will make literally a keyframe every single interv interval or every single, I guess, frame, I think, is how that stands for. And we're going to head and just tell to go ahead and track, all right? So it's now doing the tracking. And as you can see, there's these little po timeline points here. Now, at a certain point, I actually don't need the... See how it lost it here, right? So, like, yeah, right here, it pretty much, like, the track is... That's a really bad track. I'm not even going to lie. That's a pretty janky, terrible track. I'm actually might... I might track this normally my... Or track this by hand. I don't normally like doing things by hand. Um, that is actually extremely off. All right. Well, that's okay. We'll do it by hand, then. That's fine. Learn something new. Um, yeah, understand that this tracking stuff is like really bad. So we're going to do, we're going to hold control, drag, delete. I'm going to go ahead and do this. So we're going to go back a little bit, a couple things here. Uh, I kind of wish I could actually, so I'm going to hold the alt key. All right. Um, actually, hold on. Let me go back to this frame really quick. Up to this point, I wasn't really offering any particularly useful information, so I decided to just speed through it instead, but you should sort of get the idea that I had to track things frame by frame, which sometimes in Vegas Pro is not the most efficient, but has to be done sometimes. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. So... And the the even though there's a little bit of movement, I'm not too sad over it. Um... I'd like to actually maybe kind of perfect a little bit of, oh, you can't move it. Hmm. Can't move it the way I'm thinking you can move it. That's weird. All right. Well, I'll just deal with it and I'll just fade out the, I'll just fade it out if I have to. That's fine. Okay. So our track is done for the most part. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save our work and we'll go ahead and do tools, scripting. We're going to add text to track motion, okay? So, um, trying to think about where my last text placement was. I think it was, I think it's, I think I can make it below 25, I believe. Let me see something really quick. Yes, I can make it below. Cool. Um, now I want to say, honestly, um, this is more directed at magics. Please, for the love of everything, please add other text like i have aromatics installed as a text and oh aromatics is was here what it was here the whole time oh okay well i'm um i'm stupid apparently sorry um okay so let's go ahead and scroll up and we're gonna head and add uh aromatics which is one of my favorites because it's the most digital looking okay we're gonna change this to print 12 we're gonna we're gonna center this now we're gonna sample now this is gonna be hard but i think i could do it we're gonna sample this color actually correction let me sample something large on this oh shoot hold on that's not it yeah that'll work okay we're gonna sample this text okay uh, let me see placeholder and then I'm going to say, I'm going to say, uh, 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 something clever, um, game ready. And I'm going to head, uh, there we go. Kind of list something like that. Now, the issue that we're running into issue running into a little bit sorry i hate to keep jumping in here but i want to actually say that most of the time the auto tracking in vegas pro 16 usually does work pretty well 
And unfortunately, in this particular instance, and the way that that particular video was designed, I had to do a lot of manual tracking, which is why there are moments where I'm not really saying a whole lot as I was trying to properly track the light, which kind of happens sometimes, and which is why I think that motion tracking in Vegas Pro is a little clunky, but most of the time, the auto tracking feature is actually rather good from what I've seen, though I will have to do some more tests to actually confirm that, and I might do a future video about it at some point. If it will update, it does not, really, it doesn't update the keyframes. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is, so we're going to have to backtrack. So we've got our keyframes now. Okay, so what we're going to do is, we're going to go back to the tools scripting. Sorry, I just thought of this while I was kind of on the fly. Okay, so okay, so this you might run into this error. Okay, um, this is something that I had an issue with. Please select the video event on which the ve uh, Vegas masking has been applied. Now, in the tutorial video, this is where they this is where they mucked up. In the tutorial video, they did not specify that you cannot have a track above your track motion uh, track. So this layer here, you cannot have anything above it. I don't know why. It's stupid. I'd like to come in here with one extra note because after thinking about it and realizing how the Biazier mask worked, I wanted to clarify something. You can have video that is above the Biazier masked tracked video below, but because we're using the motion tracked text feature, you cannot have tracks above the main video that has the Biazier tracked keyframes because it will place a placeholder text above the main media for you with all the keyframes that the Biazier mask created, but you can't. So to get around this, what you do is you delete this all right, then you come back to your scripting options and then you go add the text. Oh, really? Oh, sorry. Uh, you also have to select the, the media as well. You have to click the media and then you do scripting and then you do this. It's literally one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in a software. Like, I don't know what, who was drunk in the boardroom that morning, but seriously, so dumb. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and try again. So we're going to scroll up. Um... And we're going to go to, shoot, where is it? Aromatics, add a font of print of this and center. And we got to do our color. Oh, shoot. I meant to do it below. Okay, so I got a slight little issue. Um, but I might be able to work with it anyway. We'll see what we can do. I'm able to work with it. <clears throat> All right. Back to color sampling. All right, cool. Sampled, complete. Sweet. Now, let's see. Now, what we're going to do is... I wish I tracked a little bit back. Yeah, I should have tracked a little bit back. We're going to actually make this fade in. All right. Let's go ahead and go back to this frame. Going to scrub this to here. Going to fade this in. And then it's going to, I know it says placeholder, but we're going to actually going to change what it says. Um, so, oh, I didn't. Game ready. All right, cool. Um, it will look probably, it will probably look better as, uh, actually, you know what? Let's lighten this up because this is pretty dark. All right, let's lighten that up a little bit more. Uh, this is where having multiple monitors for Vegas is extremely helpful. Uh, we'll do something clever with the text in the end. Okay, so now we've done all that. I know it took about 15 minutes to do that. Um, what we're going to do is now what they do not talk about, and this is, I think this is so critical, but so silly right now let's change something so normally every track in vegas is set to what is called source alpha all right every track is default source alpha um basically and if i can try to explain source alpha correctly but basically as you can see there's a track above here and there's text below but we can't see that and because vegas reads in layer from the top down okay it's always layering. 
So, what I discovered by accident, and there was nothing in the video from Vegas Pro about this, you have to change it to lighten mode, that suddenly now your new layer is revealed. All right, so that's something that I wish they had covered and they didn't. Um, so now what we're gonna do is, and I might actually do something, I might do something clever, we'll see. Uh, we're gonna add this final element here, which is the same video with all the points of light. And I'm gonna show you how to maintain the original video. And unfortunately, a lot of my beazing masks were kind of off, unfortunately. Um, so we're gonna head in, uh, I mean, there's nothing I can really do about it. I'm not, I'm not even really gonna touch it because this was, this was a pain to do. Um, we're gonna do Control Shift Q. Now, by default, it says Source Alpha, okay? So that means when I drag this up and over, all the text is gone, or is it? It's not. What you do is hit this button, lighten. All the text is is gone through. Now I do not know what is it. I don't know what it is about lighten. I guess it has something to do with with video terminology that I'm not particularly f um, familiar with. Um, and that's okay. Actually, maybe for the sake of the tutorial video, I might see what happens. Let's see what happens if you hit lighten for all the text. Huh. I might just change it all to lighten. Actually, I don't. I don't see why not. Just, just to make sure that we're not messing anything up too much. Um, lighten all of this. Lighten all of this. Um, is this, is this switch to lighten? It is switched to lighten mode. And is this one? Yes, they're all switched to lighten mode. So now we have a complete video with... <laughs> Perfect. So that is how you do track motion and allow for the final, for the same layer video that you want to play. That is how you do that. And I really think that, um, I really would like to stress to the, the Vegas team that it really would have been extremely helpful that you explain that you need to do that so that we can have our text from before shown uh, show up. And the cool part about this is now, depending on what the application is, you should be able to easily import um, this video. Like you can export this just as an MP4 really, really easily. And, um, and it will, um, it should be read by most, you know, most everything that is able to read mp4s but i just felt like it was really important i'm sorry this video was kind of long you know you guys know that my my tutorial videos are usually detailed but i felt like that it was really important that i explain this um because there really wasn't a whole lot online at least not from my initial look of things about how to do this so now you know how to do track motion and also allow for the same video to play through if you want to do some funny you know layering masking things or whatever and stuff that is how you do it and if you have any questions please put them in the comment section down below i do read those and i will answer as i'm able to if i don't know i'll try to put you on a google search or direct you to some official place to take a look at it and until then thank you guys so so much please check out my twitch stream at twitch.tv forward slash grid 21 please subscribe on youtube if you felt like this video was helpful to you and i will be back in hopefully another tutorial video soon until then catch you guys later